What's up you guys? Good morning. Welcome back to another perfect day here in Mallorca. Today we're going to be exploring our awesome beach right next to us. Daniel, as you see, may or may not have shaved his face. There we go. I woke up this morning and I just had to get it done. You guys already said you wanted it trimmed. Maybe not this short, but with the razor I have, this is the only thing I can do. Don't worry, it'll go back a little bit very quickly. All right, I think the time has come. I was thinking about waiting to shave my beard or get it shaved in a dope barber shop or something like that, but I just don't think I wanna wait. We have another day here in Mallorca. I'd love to get some sun on my face underneath this beard, and so I think I'm gonna try and shave it off. I have this razor. I swear I've had this thing for for 15 to 20 years and it's like it's not necessarily built to handle this kind of beard trimming but I'm gonna give it a try see if it'll work I hope it works cause I don't want to end up here with a half shaven beard or something like that here we go all right it works <laughs> oh man this is gonna take a while shall keep it or shave it <laughs> Oh my gosh. I can't believe it's working. It's working. Shave it. Shave it. Wow, that's right. a close shave. You're gonna keep going. There you go. My dimple's back. He came back, he's making an appearance. At least now for a we week until he fills back in with I hair. know, until he fills back in. Now we need to go get a suntan on the lower half of your face. That's the goal for today. <laughs> Tan from here down. <laughs> Even things out a little bit before leaving this sunny island. We walked out from our hotel down along the coastline. We found this rad little platform here. Not sure if it's private or not. We don't know. This coastline is lined with these gorgeous villas and homes and they all have these little platforms with the little ladders like at swimming pools coming out to get out of the water but everybody's kind of posted up on them so we just found one that nobody was on and decided we were going to sit here until maybe we got kicked out. But our goal today, our main goal for the day, you may call it vain, you may call it silly, is to get this lower half of his face a suntan. <laughs> it's really not that noticeable. It's not that bad. It's really not. I don't know how because your beard was so thick. There's how no way the sun was getting through it, but I don't know. But somehow you don't have like a stark tan line. There's like a faint one. I feel like in certain lights you can kind of see like maybe a faint one, but it's not bad at all. Yeah. That's our main goal today. We're going to post up on our little platform. We've got some cliffs back here that we want to jump off of. Guys, they're nothing special. They're nothing huge, but still we want to go play. off jumping in the water here off of our little three foot platform I'm getting some massive air <laughs> I feel like, you know, we're still achieving our goal, but we kind of got bored just like laying there, you know? Oh, yeah. Obviously, we had to play in this gorgeous water right here. Every time I get out of the water, I like, you know, I touch my hair, then I touch my face, and it's always so weird to touch it. It's like, <laughs> oh, goodness. Goes to like ring out his beard, and there's no beard there. Mm, I kind of like it. I'm liking it. I like it. But at the same it. time, I always miss it once I cut it off. My all time favorite is when it's like a little bit longer than this. So, like but, one or two weeks from now. But I just, there it is. Oh there it is. That's <laughs> what I wanted back. The dimple this disappears. Is my, my favorite is this one. This no, one. this one. Mm -hmm. That. Your soft smile where you see your dimple. That's my very favorite. Oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> we have not been kicked off our ledge. Oh yeah, no. We've and been meeting some friends though. We met some friends from Sweden jumping off a rock over there. So far no one's kicked us off though. We People have just joined us. <laughs> Seriously, Mallorca <laughs> seems to be a pretty chill place. Very chill. We're loving it. And very friendly. Everyone is so kind and friendly. Whether it's locals or tourists, everyone's just friendly. And I'm loving that. It's been awesome. We're for sure gonna miss this. It's always hard to leave, guys. It's hard to leave. I feel like we're finally 
getting the hang of like living here or whatever. <laughs> like we know where stuff is. We kind of start to know. learn our way around places and we just kind of get, you know, obviously the longer you're in a place, you kind of start to get in a groove of the place. And then all of a sudden, as soon as I feel like we've kind of gotten into our groove, We're it's time to leave again. We're ourselves. We have to Hello, do it all over again. Hello in a different again. language. <laughs> Yeah. Although he speaks Spanish and he's actually been doing really well here. And everybody that whenever he starts speaking Spanish, everyone's like, oh, you speak Spanish? And they're always so excited. <laughs> it's kind of hard when you're always uprooting yourself, going somewhere else. Oftentimes it's a new currency, new transit system. Everything's different, new culture, and you have to like figure it out and get in the groove again. And then you're moving again and mm -hmm. this and that. Obviously we love it. Like we're seeing so much awesome stuff, but it's definitely sad to leave once you start like getting the hang of things. But yeah. we love it. We're excited and we're always Always excited for the next place that we're going. Wherever it is, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> All right, guys, we've had a little bit of a change of plans. Surprise! We're actually flying out tonight. <laughs> we were laying at the beach, getting him a nice suntan. We actually both are feeling nice and sun kissed, loving the suntan. I don't know if this filled in at all with any sun, but who cares? Yeah, we don't know that it did either because we actually spent most of the time um, jumping and swimming and playing in the water. And the other half of the time, we were actually on our phones doing a little bit of research and kind of impulsively decided we're flying out tonight. It's a little bit of an impulse, but at the same time, we're trying to set ourselves up a little bit for not just the next place we're going, but the next, next place that we think we're going to be going to. So you guys know, not every airport flies to every place. So you kind of have to be strategic sometimes. Okay, well, where should we go that has A, a cheap flight, B, preferably a nonstop, and C, can get me to the next place I want to go also with a cheap nonstop flight. So kind of a lot of research, a lot of reading yes. that we're always doing to try and figure out what's the best way to go. So it's endless research. We actually had an idea of a place we wanted to go and we were like, okay, how can we get there? And then it turns out, oh, you can get there through this place. So we've decided, well, let's go there. It's on our list for sure of places we wanted to go. We just didn't know we would be going there this soon. So no. we're not complaining at all. We're extremely excited about this, but we do fly out tonight. So we're packing up here. Shelly's pretty much done. Ta -da! Ta -da! You're like slimming down, I feel like. Am I? I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> My bag is uh, not quite closed yet. Not sure it's gonna close. I have a lot of dirty clothes in it from We uh, have a us. lot of laundry that we need to do, which we're very excited because the next place that we're going, we have a washer in the apartment. That was a requirement. We yes. had to have the washer because I think we just need to wash everything. <laughs> We've done enough tub laundry that it's like we need a good washing. Yes. And this one just so happened to have a washer in it. So we were like, yep, let's stay there for sure. So guys, we actually have one thing that we have not done yet that we really wanted to do. We want to see Palma, which is the biggest city here on the island. And so we're gonna take off here a little early because we do have a lot of time to kill before our flight. Yeah, we've got a little bit of a drive ahead of us and then we're just gonna drive into the city of Palma and just kind of explore a little bit to see there before heading to the airport and getting out of here. I'm kind of sad. I have absolutely loved Mallorca. It was on my bucket list for sure. And I feel like a lot of people have been commenting and messaging us saying that all they knew about Mallorca was that it was just like a party island. I haven't First been of all, I didn't to even know. <laughs> oh wait, we no did go to the festival, us. which was not like a party. It was like a very awesome <laughs> festival. Anyway, we haven't noticed any of that, and I don't know if it's because we've like kind of gone outside and around. I don't know, but I'm so glad to hear that so many of you have been pleasantly surprised to see that Mallorca offers so much more than just partying. Because it's beautiful. We haven't seen any party. <laughs> I would come back here in a heartbeat. I'd bring the family. Oh yeah. Great. The water is incredible. Oh, I'm gonna miss this place. Always looking forward to what's ahead, but always, like we said, gonna miss where we've gotten comfortable. You know? Yeah. Anyways, I wanna see if I can zip my bag up. Hit the road. Let's do it. <laughs> zip it. Oh gosh. <laughs> Got my Tevas, flip flops. Got a bunch of camera gear. This is like the tech side. Both sides are very full. These are the clothes and there's a lot of them. I got my new blanket added in here. I could put that in my roll top. Let's try, okay. let's try. This is all dirty clothes here. Almost everything is dirty in here actually right now. Yeah, we have um, pretty Any much two suitcases full of dirty clothes. Anything that was clean in here is now mixed in with dirty stuff. So it's probably <laughs> all gonna have a hint of smelly laundry by the time we get to where we're going. I think everything we own could use a good washing. Yeah. All right, guys, you're about to see the magic of the away bag, the polycarbonate shell. Mine got dented. All right, doing this on the bed might not work. The knee. Oh, babe. 
Do the other side. Yeah. Is this not gonna zip? Comment down below, do you think he'll get it? That's good enough. Oh yeah. Oh, we are zipped. We're good, we're good. Pool noodles. Oh no, what are we gonna do? We can't bring those to our next place. <laughs> <laughs> Number one first stop on our list of exploring this city is the insane Mallorca Cathedral, Cathedral de Mallorca. Catedral de he's, Mallorca. He's, he says it much better than I do. Catedral? Catedral. Catedral. <laughs> Look how epic de that Mayor is. Do they roll the R on Mallorca? Mallorca. Mallorca. This cathedral is kind of insane. I mean, this might be one of the most beautiful ones I have ever seen in my life. And I haven't even gone inside yet. I've just seen the outside. But this is like so unique and ornate and massive. Like I it's know. massive. Well, and I think one of the elements that's making this thing like pop is just the placement. It's on a little pond of water here. It looks like it's literally surrounded by a moat. Yeah. And then you have the Mediterranean right in front of it. Yeah. It's like on the water. It is stunning. This is outrageous. I mean, you're driving down this main highway right here and it is just like, whoa. So obviously we pulled over, parked, and we're gonna go explore the cathedral right now. Wait, so why'd they name the city Palma? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> All palm trees, duh. Just kidding, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> so we picked the wrong day to not be at a beach. It is a scorcher out here and... <laughs> yeah, a lot of you have been concerned about us over here in Europe during this European heat wave and we're fine, but it's hot. It's hot. The it's heat hot. wave is real, but what's funny is we have the weather app, you know, on our iPhone. We look at the weather here, then we look at the weather back home in Utah and it's hotter back it's hotter home in Utah. Home. I guess I'm glad to be in the European <laughs> yeah. heat wave. European heat wave isn't as bad as a Utah summer, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a scorcher. We need to get inside this cathedral. I heard they have air conditioning in there. <gasps> I'm just kidding. I don't know if that's true. That would be awesome. <laughs> I don't think they do though. <laughs> I heard Daniel say it twice, so <laughs> I wanted to say it. Got a serious hike. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the spiral staircases, but they're so cool. This handrail here, it comes like straight up. <laughs> it just spirals around the center. Pretty awesome. It feels great in here. It's so much cooler in here. It's like a, like breeze, a breeze spiraling through. All right, we're getting to the top. I swear that was like 200 steps. We made it up to the terraces. This cathedral is incredible. You see all the like flying buttresses up above us. They hold the ceilings up in the cathedral. This thing's old guys, it has a ton of history. This site actually used to be an old Arab mosque like 800 years ago, almost a millennium ago. Then the king decided to build the cathedral on this site. You know, even though they started building it back in 1200s, 800 years ago, it took about 400 years to finish. And it's not surprising when you look at it. It's like no. beautiful, <laughs> so much work. Both of us are like dumbfounded how they built these things. Yeah, Incredible. and I asked Daniel, I said, why don't we build stuff like this anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I get it now, but man. Uses a steel eye beam, babe. Beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. We've not gone inside yet. We came straight up to the terraces. This is cool. How about that window, babe? Yeah, nice little stained glass there. It's like 50 feet in diameter and it's all colored glass. We need to go see this thing from the inside. Just, I know, and then all the stone. We're work. like on the roof. Like, I want to hop on the roof. Do you think they'd get mad? Yeah, we got a roof right there. I think they don't want you on it. I would imagine. You don't think so? For pigeons and cats. <laughs> pigeons. Not full grown women. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. So you guys probably know I have a little screen on the side of my camera. I can kind of see what I'm filming here. And every time I look at it, I'm like, I don't have a hat on. I don't have a beard on my face. I think I look You're so You're unrecognizable. Funny. Even to myself, I'm like, who's that handsome devil? Oh, just kidding. <laughs> it's funny. Dirty hair just blowing in the wind. Oh, uh, I watched it yesterday, guys. It's fine. <laughs> 
my favorite spot of the cathedral so far. Because it's so windy. Massive breeze. Massive breeze drying all of my sweat. <laughs> That's my Orca's air conditioning. <laughs> all right, the terraces are very cool. We're gonna jump back down the spiral staircase. Go check out the cathedral. Taking a quick break here in the cathedral. This place is really just taking astonishing. it all in. I wish I could showcase this better. I literally wish I had the drone and could just fly down the center of this. That'd that would be very be really cool. We understand, very disrespectful, but that would be really cool. To show you guys better, but all I can really do is this. This cathedral is unbelievable. All the stained glass from the outside, it kind of looks like nothing. Like it just looked like poorly tinted windows, honestly. From that had like any color from the outside. And then from the inside, it is just like bright, vibrant. Yeah. It's crazy. It and the pops. monster window up there, my goodness. It pops with color. Like it just like illuminates the ceiling with color. It is so cool. You get a lot of sun here in Palma. So stained glass is a good <gasps> idea. They're everywhere. I don't know, there's gotta be over 50 stained glass windows in this cathedral and each one is massive. <laughs> and they're all different. Like each one is stunning and different and massive and beautiful. This has been awesome. I'm really glad we were able to make this. The first day we were here and kind of driving out of Palma, you know, we saw the cathedral, we knew about it, but we didn't really have plans to visit. So I'm really glad this worked out because I was really wanting to see this from the second we saw it on our first day here in Mallorca. I'm probably gonna go get a beverage, replenish our fluid. Yeah, I could use a beverage, maybe an ice cream, probably a shower. Use a lot of stuff. <laughs> this has been incredible. We've just gotten back to the rental place in the airport here in Mallorca and we're about to get on a plane. We're gonna do a little shower here in yeah, the bathroom. Yeah, look at us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like we look glistening. We are very sweaty. It is very warm. Go, I'm gonna go do a little shower, maybe change into some plain clothes. And then we're gonna say goodbye and I'm kinda sad. We got our pool noodles right here and I really wish we could take them. I know. <laughs> we should have found somewhere to donate them. They're in the back of the rental car. I know. We actually did try and find a little kid to give them to. I mean, we could have given them to an adult too. Hello, we're two adults. <laughs> That's them, so but, true. But we didn't see anybody, so we didn't give them to anybody. <laughs> Guys, we're stoked about this. Definitely already kind of tired, and we have a late flight and a late night. Stay tuned for the next video to see where we're going. We cannot wait to share it with you. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you somewhere else. <laughs> Bye, everyone.